A really common piece of advice to begin the downswing is actually to push off your back foot. Now, if I'm applying pressure to the ground through my right foot, often my, the, my balance or, or my body mass will stay over that foot. I definitely don't want that. Hi, I'm Peter Knight. I've created this channel, Peter Knight Golf, to help you play the best golf you possibly can. And today we're gonna to look at how we shift pressure and specifically the role of the right foot at the, through the start of the downswing. So at address, and when I'm moving, uh, when I'm swinging the club, the pressure is gonna change on my feet. So let's say it's around about 50% pressure on either foot at the start. When I go back to the top of the swing, it could be 75, 80% on my right foot. When I get to impact, it's gonna be the opposite. So it's gonna be about 80% on my left foot, and then it'll get to 95. So we've got this changing of pressure during the swing. So let's have a look at the timing of that pressure and a couple of issues with it. So the first one, or the first key, is that when I swing the club back, and I get to, say, this point in my swing here, so halfway back, however much pressure is going to be on my right foot, as in whatever the maximum is in my backswing, let's call it 75%, it's gonna be there at this point here. So from, this, from the start of my takeaway, I've now got about 75% of pressure on my right foot. And you can see my body hasn't swayed sideways. A lot of that is just the, the mass of my body having rotated here. There's a slight shift of my body's center in order for me to, to achieve that. It's definitely not a sway though. Now by the time, and this is the trickiest bit of the whole uh, sh pressure shifting movement for players to get. Let's say I've got about 75% of pressure on my right foot at this stage. By the time I get to the end of my backswing, I've now only got about 70% of pressure on here. So the pressure has begun to move. Now that's a, it's like a re-centering movement of my body. So my body's center might have moved a tiny little bit to the right, but as I get to the end of the backswing, it's starting to move back. Now, I've still got 70% of pressure here, so I've still got the majority of pressure on my right foot at that point. When I start my downswing though, because I've already begun moving this way, it's much, much easier so that by the time I get to about here, so roughly halfway down, I've already got the majority of pressure onto this leg here. And in fact, at this point here, my left leg is already vertical. My knee's still a little bit bent here, but, but my, my hip is over my knee, which is over my ankle, so my leg's vertical. Now, a lot of players will have the idea that when they start the downswing, they've got to push off the right foot. So if I get to, the, to that, say, the end of my backswing here, and I start pushing off my right foot, I'm creating more of a vertical pressure, which will just push my hips up. And I'm actually creating more and more pressure on my right foot as I do that, and my body will go backwards. This is really, really common. It can come from you know, having the idea that we need to try and help the ball in the air, or I'm trying to hit the ball further, or simply because I'm trying to push off that right foot there. But getting this sense of almost float, I'm going back, pressure's starting to move, now it's on my left foot. Now doing it just like I did there without even swinging a golf club, I can just hold the club across my shoulders, I turn back, my body's still centered, now the pressure's starting to move forward. So it's a, it's a small movement, but if you have a look at the top 200, the top 500 players in the world, male or female, you'll find that almost every single player will create this motion. And in fact, it's a principle that you can find applying in a whole lot of different sports. So now what we need to do is build this feeling of how the pressure's gonna move. So as I go back from here, I'm just getting that movement going forward. Now you can see also as, my, as I'm starting to move forward, just the movement of my foot, taking the pressure off that right foot, my ankle starts to roll in. So I'm not sort of staying on that foot. So the feeling is more that the pressure is coming off, the off my right foot rather than being pushed off. So from here, I go back and I get that feeling of flowing motion going the other way. And so I'm taking the pressure off that foot, off my right foot as I go back and through. So practicing that movement's really, really important for giving you the control of the center of your body, but also giving you the feeling of how that pressure should shift 
from foot to foot during the swing. But it's definitely not pushing off that right foot. I'm allowing the pressure to come off. If I'm, if I'm walking as I'm taking one, from one step to the other, the pressure's come off my foot. I haven't walked and, and pushed off that foot as I've gone forward. So the movement's similar in the golf swing. Just like when I'm, when I'm walking, from here, the pressure's coming off the foot, just like the walk movement. So practice that. Do it even just without a golf club to start with, hands across your shoulders or club across your shoulders. Make little swings, getting that sense of how the, the pressure flows from foot to foot. Then add the, golf, uh, add the golf ball, increase the range of the motion, increase the speed, and you'll find that your body will actually stay more centered even though you'll feel a stronger sense of pressure. You'll probably find too that that idea of hitting off the back foot is completely gone.